We believed that this clamp could make a difference. It, it, it took, a, took a lot to get here. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Since I was a kid, I always wanted to work in aviation, so I saw the opportunity yeah. to join the military. While I was working on CH-47 and the Black Hawks, I was replacing a lot of the wiring. I developed carpal tunnel syndrome because every 90 days we had to add all the hardware, so this became very, very painful. Just the idea that what you were experiencing as a mechanic in the helicopters was creating a physical ailment for you and you wanted to design something for the future that would allow for mechanics to have an easier time. It was really, really compelling and powerful. I was out of my job and I figured I have a veteran's benefit that I have to use or I lose it. And RPI had a yellow ribbon so it would match my GI Bill and I didn't have to pay tuition. I asked students how many of you want to launch startups? I remember it very well. You didn't raise your hand. At the end of the semester when I asked, you raised your hand consistently towards the end of the semester. We still rely on visual or on a point of failure mm -hmm. to diagnose it. And we can tell you when you are reaching this stage before it really becomes a problem. We are so thrilled to see the success that you've had really since those early days. What I hope is for entrepreneurs or veterans out there that may see this, it's okay to dream because that's what kept us alive and kept us going through the hardships. Because sometimes you don't think you can do it, mm -hmm. but then you say, other people have done it, you know, that means I can do it. I will find resources into, in my path to be able to achieve them. I just have to believe in myself.